Hello Pisces and welcome to your hump day reading. I have decided to focus on law of attraction and what you need to know for your highest good. So thank you so much for being here if you enjoy the reading and if it resonates please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, <laughs> wow, <laughs> and hit the bell notification. If you like leave a comment and just thank you so much for being here Pisces. So, Law of Attraction, little reminders. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, well, you know what? We got, we're going to take the, the, the two that fell closest to me. The first one you got is faith. Have faith that I can manifest the wealth and prosperity that I desire. Pretty card. Such interesting artwork on them. And the other card you got is gratitude. I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. Law of attraction, the key is to remember that the more gratitude you have, the more joy you feel, the greater it's returned to you. And the next card I'm gonna use, which this is one of my favorites from when I was there, my really just started doing cards, reading cards, are the uh, Kyle Gray Keepers of the Light. So a card for Pisces for their highest good. Card for Pisces. Okay, so five, Pisces. Four. Okay, and the card you got is Kuthumi. Cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Isn't that funny? Faith and gratitude and trust. And I think that without having faith, I think trust and faith are intertwined. Um, you have to have trust that faith is going to take over. And you have to have faith that you can trust in whatever you're trusting. It's a very interesting uh, balance there. Okay, uh, the Romance Angel Oracle cards. Interestingly enough now, Pisces, they actually have been going with the rest of the uh, thing. Ooh, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Now, I don't want anyone to assume that this means that someone is cheating. To me, deception can be kidding yourself that maybe, I know for myself that deception sometimes is maybe agreeing about liking things that maybe you don't like, or thinking that the person that you're with has so many of the things that you want, but you're kidding yourself that they're not what you want. Or maybe you're just trying to be nice and liking what they like, but you don't. <laughs> So deception doesn't have to be some horrific thing. It could just mean that you just don't like the same things and the deception is not major. And maybe these cards are talking about, you know, you know your relationship best, but what if you have faith in your relationship and trust that this person cares enough about you to actually be yourself? Then there is no deception and then you can be grateful for the relationship. So it's all pretty intertwined here, Pisces. Let's get just a couple tarot cards to see what else you might need to know for your highest good. Let's see. Any cards for Pisces? Pisces. Whoops. Whoa. Pisces. Wow. Anything else, Pisces? And then, let's see, look. And you got, the first card you got is Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is the king of the hill. You're up there and you're, you're defending yourself. So you're feeling defensive. Now, if you are not being your true self, you may feel the need to be defending yourself. But then, look at that. The Page of Pentacles is a new start. And maybe that page of pentacles is you. Maybe that's you saying, well, you know, I really don't like whatever it is. 
you know? Like for me, it would be like telling somebody that I like hot or spicy food. I don't. And to try to do it would just be horrible for me. But I guess we've all said things that we liked something when maybe we didn't because we liked the person a lot. <laughs> so we tried to fudge it for a while. But eventually, you can't. <laughs> so I'm really wondering if your highest good is just being your true self. Whether it's in a, a romantic relationship, a friendship, a group, whatever that may be. And having faith that they will accept you and trusting that they care enough about you that you don't have to feel like you have to defend yourself and that there is a new start. So, sounds wonderful. Pisces, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here. I do appreciate it if I can't say it. <laughs> thank you. Remember, good luck, Pisces. And don't forget, take time for you. Bye.